Hello, Roger Poster here again, and uh, I'm coming at you with another video on the 7 port USB hub. The earlier video that I had posted showed you how to do a simple fix if you were having problems caused by back feeding power to your laptop or computer. In my case, it was the Toshiba laptop and what was happening is it was affecting the charging circuit it was affecting the main unit leaving it powered up and shutting the computer off it was throwing things off I get up in the morning and I wouldn't be able to turn the computer on it was locked up nothing was happening no power I had to drop the battery out and then hold the power button down to reset the computer all the time so by cutting the power wire Going to the USB hub, I stopped the back feed of power coming from the power supply. The problem is that then leaves it pretty much only good for devices that have their own power supply because these little cheap ones that come with them, this one here is supposed to be, I can't even read that, one amp. Is it one amp or... or Point 0.1 amp. <laughs> I don't know. I can't read that. Nah, I'd have to. <laughs> they make it so you can't read it anyways, but generally they're 500 milliamps to 1 amp, the ones that come with them. And that's just not suitable. If you have 7 ports and you're powering 7 ports, each port is supposed to be capable of delivering 500 milliamps yet your socket in your computer is supposed to be only providing 500 milliamps to any hub any more than you're going to start having it shut down you're going to have errors registering that you don't have enough power to power the devices so an externally powered hub is a good idea as long as you don't have a laptop and you're mobile with it so these can be used with the original cable unmodified on your laptop without the power supply being plugged in as long as the devices that you have have their own power supply or don't draw more than 500 milliamps all combined. If they do, even with these power supplies, you'll have problems, certain things getting kicked off I have a wireless mouse and if I plug in an external hard drive for a laptop that doesn't have its own power supply then the mouse gets kicked off it won't register what I did was bought an external one a better one this one here is a 4 amp and I shouldn't have any problems with it provided that it actually can deliver 4 amps at 5 volts now, the one thing you got to make sure is the polarity is the same. These here things have a center positive pin. So you should always check with your meter. If you're unsure, check your original power supply with a meter and make sure this is the same. Otherwise, you'll have to cut the wire and reverse the polarity or open up your power supply and reverse the wires to reverse the polarity. But this one works good. I bought these, I think I paid like $15 for two of them with shipping from Hong Kong. And these plugs are the same one. This will fit and it'll power it. I don't know, like I say, how it is under load, so I gotta hook it up. It comes with a longer plug, you know, just like your regular brick for your laptop. I'm not too much a fan of these brick style but we'll see how this is seeing as it's just for five volts I mean for one amp for what I was trying to power I shouldn't have had a problem so I'm thinking they don't work very well they probably burn out very fast and they're just totally un underpowered for the unit that they're selling them for even at one amp even if it's one amp I mean you should have at least three and a half amps to run one of these. We're going to see what happens anyways. I'm going to hook it all up and I'm also later going to do some tests on this and see if it will actually deliver 5 volts when I load it down to 4 amps. 
so I'm gonna have to make a another special cable or open up one of these cables and hook in line with my meter so that I can read the current draw as well as hook another meter up so I can measure my voltage and just start loading the power supply down and see how it does see how it produces when it's under full load because one of the problems I've had with these cheap brick ones is they don't usually last too long I have a lot of interference coming from them after a while the caps burn out mainly because they're overheating them they're trying to get by with smaller power supply than what the load should be provided for and as a result they run hot when they run hot the caps get weak and give out and then you end up having a lot of interference on them I had one for a laptop or was it a laptop no it was one for a DVD burner that I had and I could pick up interference on my monitor whenever I plug that in anywhere in the house I was getting a ripple going up my monitor so it was putting ripple out into the AC of the house and uh, I really lost a lot of faith in these except for the last one I got I paid 30 something bucks for it and uh, it was for my Dell laptop and so far so good I've used that thing you know for almost a year now and the, the brick is working pretty good I haven't had any problems with it no problems charging or anything like that and so what I did here is I took one of these apart just out of curiosity there's just one screw in there that holds them together and I was surprised to find that they actually got a few components in there <laughs> Now these are the uh, supposedly a thousand milliamps and I don't think they provide that because I had nothing but problems when trying to connect my wireless mouse through one of those hubs and now with the new power supply on there it connected up with no problems I still have to load it down with some other devices that don't have their own power supplies so I can check it out and a bit later on I'll set up some meters and load test these as well as the new ones and see how they measure up to their reported specs so I'm gonna do a little test here and see if that adding the one new power supply so I got one for this one but I don't have this hooked up right now I'm gonna use this one and it'll be plugged into there and then I'm going to plug in three devices that I couldn't plug in before that draw power. One of them is going to be my MP3 player, which draws power to charge it. The other is going to be a laptop hard drive that I took out of my extra bay. This is my uh, Windows XP hard drive, so I can do dual boot and uh, right now we're just going to power up my uh, D7ized version of Windows 7 so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to plug in the uh, the USB here okay so our hubs in it's recognized and now we're going to plug in the uh, mouse okay so there I'm in there that not getting the messages that could be something to do with this shit too because I used to get I was getting messages telling me that it detected it anyhow it's on it's working and we're gonna see what's gonna happen here when uh, I plug in something else. Okay, so it says it's installing drivers. I'm ready to use. I still can control my mouse, which is great. It didn't kick it off. Now we're going to try one more. Oh, we got that hard drive on there. Okay. 
Ah, uh, there. So that's working. It's working fine. I'm not having any problem with those two devices. And now what we'll do is we're going to stick in the uh, MP3 player and see if it kicks anything off there. Okay, we're connecting and we're fine. Yeah, this is great. So the problem so far seems to be, like I say, those cheap power supplies. By putting this block in here, I'm able to run those three things that don't have power of their own. They have no external power supply. So they're strictly running off the power coming from the new power supply. So I'm sure if I was to load it up with a few more things I wouldn't have any problems either because as soon as I plug the second device in like the mp3 player it would kick the mouse off. And if I had the mp3 player plugged in first or the hard drive plugged in first and plugged in the mouse it would not detect. So those cheap ones that come with it these things they're a piece of garbage they're not anywhere near the amount of power required to run those I recommend a 5 volt 4 amp I plugged in one more device because I forgot and that was the webcam and the webcam has six LEDs and I got those cranked up full blast so it's drawing a lot of power off of all these things combined and it's all being powered from the external power supply so I'm having no problems nothing's getting kicked off and there's two more ports available we're still working we're still good here I still got my mouse and now we're gonna stick in the last device because one takes two sockets which is the uh, the hard drive adapter it uses two sockets you can't power it with just one Okay, so it's installing that and I'm still able to move my mouse without any lockups or anything. And that's good. It's not going to do anything because I don't have the drivers the driver disk for it right here, but it is uh plugged in and it is powering it off of uh the device. So right now, I have this loaded up with six devices that require power and the six devices that require power is all drawing off of that external power supply so it has no problem handling the devices so I think that's the solution anybody that's having problems that needs power for these and can't uh, or you really shouldn't be powering it off your computer. Oh, there we go. It says driver installed successfully. So it found a driver. <laughs> Amazing, eh? So it found the driver for it. So everything's up, everything's running, and uh, I'm pulling lots of juice. I don't know, I don't have a a meter on there to see how much I'm drawing off of each socket. I don't have any software or anything. I don't know of anything that will tell me what the power consumption on each socket is. But uh, I definitely should be able to put a meter in line with with the power supply and make a special power supply cable with a socket so that I can actually measure how much is coming out of the power supply but from what I see right now it's working great it's going to be able to handle seven devices plugged in that do not have power supplies that draw power off of the USB hub so I have my mp3 player thing is charging There's my little hard drive here. Where are you? There you are. 
So that's what I'm looking at now. I have this on there, which is the uh, webcam with the six LEDs cranked up full. I have the wireless uh, mouse receiver and I have a Wi-Fi module plugged in there and none of them have their own power supply so they are all functioning without any problems I never had problems with one kicking the other off and not getting back on this one here is charging at this point in time so it's doing good everything is doing what it's supposed to do unfortunately they won't do what they're supposed to do with the power supply that comes with them it'll do what it's supposed to do if you spend a little money and buy a 5 volt 4 amp power supply so until I get to doing some actual uh, voltage measurements uh, that's it for now